UNRWA is a corrupt organization that functions as a propaganda tool against Israel, but many people don't understand how truly corrupt it is. Here are five facts that you need to know about UNRWA and the so-called Palestinian refugees. 1. There are two refugee agencies run by the United Nations. One is the UNHCR, which is the UN's main refugee agency that cares for millions of refugees throughout the world. The other is UNRWA, a special agency created by the UN that deals with only one specific population, the Palestinians. Two, while the UNHCR aims to resettle and rehabilitate refugees and has resettled tens of millions of refugees since its founding, UNRWA hasn't resettled even a single refugee. That's because its goal is not to resettle refugees, but to perpetuate the refugee status of the Palestinians and thereby use the right of return as a political tool to eliminate the state of Israel. To quote Sakhar Habash, one of the founders of Fatah and Yasser Arafat's aid, the refugee issue is the winning card which means the end of the Israeli state. Three. Unlike the rest of the world's refugees, Palestinian refugee status is hereditary and is passed on to kids, grandkids, great-grandkids, and so on. In addition, Palestinian refugees can do nothing to lose their refugee status. Normal refugees lose their status if they get citizenship in another country, acquire wealth and rehabilitate themselves financially, or commit war crimes or acts of terror. But Palestinian refugees can literally do whatever they want and they will always remain refugees. Four. While a regular refugee must prove that he was displaced from his country of birth or from a place in which he had permanent residency, the definition of a Palestinian refugee is anyone who lived in the land of Israel from 1946 to 1948. This means that if an economic migrant from Iraq came to Israel in 1948 in order to find work in the flourishing economy created by the Zionist enterprise, he, his kids, his grandkids, and his great-grandkids are still considered Palestinian refugees until this day. Five. On average, UNRWA spends more than double the amount of money per Palestinian refugee than the UNHCR spends on the rest of the world's refugee population. Even more absurd, UNRWA boasts to have over 30,000 employees caring for 5 million Palestinian refugees, while the UNHCR only employs 11,000 workers to care for 65 million refugees and displaced persons around the world. Lastly, it's important to note that the Palestinian situation simply isn't that special. 800,000 Middle Eastern Jews were forced to flee their homes after Israel declared independence. World War II saw the displacement of millions of people throughout the world. Millions more are forcibly displaced with the creation of Pakistan and India. Wars in the Balkans and the Turkish occupation of Cyprus saw millions of more refugees. And you know what? Every single one of these people has been absorbed and integrated into their host countries. There's not one single refugee camp that still remains. Only the Palestinians, out of all the people in the world, continue to retain the refugee status because it helps them in their war against Israel. So, if we are really interested in ending the conflict, we must start by closing UNRWA. And the sooner, the better.